Many of us are counting down to January 20th because it marks President Trump's triumphant return to the White House. But I'm also counting down because it's the day that SEC Chairman Gary Gensler will finally meet the American people's demands and resign. Woo. Chairman Gensler's tenure at the SEC has been marred by regulatory hypocrisy, crippling American competitiveness. His approach to our capital markets was lawless, self-interested, and objectively destructive. He's been an incompetent cop on the beat, pushing American firms into the hands of the Chinese Communist Party. Incompetent cop on the beat. I like the way that sounds. Guys, I uncovered the missing piece of the puzzle, which ties to RLUSD, ties to Trump's new pick for the SEC chair, Paul Atkins. Well, I'm going to tie to Ripple in more ways than one. This is the final piece in the puzzle. Trump is re-examining and may reissue the Executive Order 13372, revamping a new financial system called out Ripple on page 194, first four years in office, first 90 days in office, last time he was president. Many may not know who Paul Atkins is. You won't believe this rabbit hole, which ties to Ripple. I'd like to welcome everybody to CKJ Crypto News. We're back to making quick rabbit hole research videos. Smash that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think about the video. So certainly we're very excited about the... A little bit of history real quick. This is Carlos Domingo, the founder of Securitize, who I met at Consensus in 2019. This was a two-man operation in 2019. Now you guys see, to build a little history on this right here, Securitize, which is Carlos Domingo is the founder, supported by Coinbase and Ripple, 13 million funding round in 2018. So Ripple and Coinbase backed Carlos Domingo in 2018. This was the biggest news then, and nobody really knew what I was talking about. Now you're going to see what I was talking about in 2018. So certainly we're very excited about the, the possibility of, uh, of uh, Paul Atkins being the the chairman of the SEC. I think this is uh, really good uh, for the industry overall, not not just necessarily for us, but obviously because he's been in our advisory board since 2019. We know him very well. This is Securitize, backed by Ripple. Paul Atkins right here is the advisor to Securitize. Also former SEC commissioner. Now he's the advisor to Securitize, which is backed by Ripple. And now Trump is reappointing him to the SEC chair. I hope you got your XRP ready. If not, I hope you got some of your XRPL assets ready. Well, he's also very actively involved with the Chamber of Digital Commerce. and Chamber of Digital Commerce, let me down a deep rabbit hole. We'll uncover that momentarily also. He's certainly a person that is known for streamlining regulation and being very, you know, pro-digital assets and, and very knowledgeable in the industry. I agree. Paul Atkins, Trump's top pick. Now, a little bit more about Securitize. Securitize, a U.S.-based firm that tokenizing assets and traditional securities, has received a $12 million investment from the likes of Coinbase and Ripple. Securitize CEO co-founder Carlos Domingo says the firm will be developing its investor relations, increasing liquidity, com promoting compliance, and keeping up with their capital. That is really interesting right there. What's interesting, and I jumped down the rabbit hole on Securitize, I might also found another hidden gem. Now, this is Securitize, our partner ecosystem, Securitize, Aptos Labs, Arbitrarium Avalanche, AVAX just fell into the top 10. Ethereum, Optism, Polygon, my 100K Matic challenge, interesting. Matic is in there, but this is the one that jumps out at me that I highly recommend getting a big bag of XDC. We checked the price. It's consolidating. It's at six cents right now. Don't get me wrong. XRP is going to rock it. Maybe it's a 589 end of this year, but it's already 250, 225. XDC is seven cents. Lumens is 50 cent XLM. So XDC is a partner with Securitize, backed by Ripple. Paul Atkins is on the board of Securitize, and he's about to be the SEC chair. XCC Network is a blockchain platform designed to enable fast, scalable, secure, grade, decentralized applications and smart contracts. That's interesting with the smart contract aspect. I'm just saying, Custody Solutions, Anchorage Digital, the first federal custody solution 
Fireblocks, also partner with Crypto.com, BitGo, Custody Solution, Regulated, Wormhole. So if you go back to, let me just go back one on this. But also, these guys have also partnered with BlackRock, tokenizing real world assets. Don't forget, this was a two-man operation. When I met Carlos Domingo in 2019, I asked him for a job. He told me to move to Miami. I should have moved because now they have a billion on chain. He said, right now, we're a two-man operation. I wonder how many men work there now. Tokenized real-world assets, one billion on chain. Also partners with the BlackRock USD Institutional Digital Liquidity Fund Build. It's a minimum investment of five million dollars. Guys, you got between now and maybe March to get your crypto together. Or shaking out the little man. Tokenized, tokenizing real-world assets. So this is, because I was actually looking for the board of advisors on Paul Atkins and to see who else is on the board. But on that rabbit hole, this is one on Paul Atkins, cryptocurrency advocate Paul Atkins, Atkins is Trump's nominee to chair the SEC. President Trump announced Wednesday he intends to nominate cryptocurrency advocate Paul Atkins to chair the SEC. Trump said Atkins, the CEO of Potocomo Partners and former SEC commissioner has been a proven leader for common sense regulation. Common sense. After leaving the SEC, Atkins made a case against too much market regulation. He believes in the promise of robust innovation in capital markets. He also recognized the need that digital assets and other innovations are crucial to making America greater than ever before, Trump wrote on social media. That is interesting there. But Paul Atkins, led client work for financial services. This is Pokemo Global Partners because I wanted to do some more research on them. Since 2017, Mr. Atkins has led the industry efforts to develop best practices for digital assets and trading platforms. Co chair of the Token Alliance. Now, this sent me down a deep rabbit hole also. He's the co chair of the Token Alliance. Also sits on the board of Securitize, which is backed by Ripple and Coinbase. I think all the pieces are finally starting to fall together. The puzzle is almost complete. Mr. Atkins served as a former SEC commissioner from 2002 to 2008. Now, what's interesting about this is if you go to the top of Paul Atkins' wiki, he was a commissioner of the U.S. SEC, but he was nominated. No, but hold on, I'll show you. He was also nominated for Trump to be in a prior group. He's a lobbyist and a businessman, has a consulting firm for cryptocurrency companies. Uh, early in his career, basically he was pointed to Trump to run this organization down here. In December 2016, Atkins joined a business forum assembled by President Trump to provide strategic and policy advice on economic issues. So he's worked with Trump in 2016 when Trump was president before. I wanted to look up more on that working group, President's Working Group on Financial Markets Release Report on Stable Coins. That's kind of interesting right there. Now, Digital Assets in the Future of Finance, the President's Working Group on Financial Markets and Stable Coins. And that was the working group that he was in in 2022. Or Yeah, 2021. That's what I thought. Digital Assets in the Future of Finance. The President's Working Group, 2021. That makes more sense. Now, what I wanted to show you was there was a hearing today in McHenry, a hearing on the future of finance. We will cover that momentarily. But being that Carlos Domingo ties to Securitize, which is backed by Ripple and Coinbase, I believe that that is a big deal. Something big is cooking with Ripple. As far as some of the connections, we also showed you that Ripple Rosie Rios was on the board of Ripple. Michael Barr on the board of Ripple. Paul Atkins somehow hysterically became a board at Securitize, which is backed by Ripple. Now, Michael Barr went to the Fed from Ripple. You guys see what's cooking here? Trump picks crypto backer Paul Atkins as new SEC commission. The final piece of the puzzle is put together. The future of FinTech is being written now. I agree, Danelle. And she spoke today at this hearing that was created by Trump as far as this working group. What are the benefits of uh, blockchain technology? 
not just your network, but the, the underlying technology. Uh, what are the most promising innovations? What are the, what are the benefits? Yeah, I th thank you so much for the question, Mr. Chairman. The, the most important piece here is that we forget that the global majority doesn't have access to the traditional banking infrastructure that we do. Uh, here in the United States. And when you think about the fact that we would love, that the, the, the highest demand is the US dollar. They want to be able to leverage the US dollar at least to be able to receive money from diaspora, from the US, and from elsewhere. They want to be able to leverage that in a way that's cheap, efficient, and secure. That is what blockchain technology does for them. If you think about, uh, there are several opportunities to discuss like the, the impact, but we have worked with the UNHCR to be able to deliver aid into uh, countries throughout the world uh, to, in a very fast and secure manner. Not only did it help the UNHCR from their security standpoint and to deliver aid quickly, it also made it so that it was much more secure for the people on the ground so they didn't have to hold cash. The end user could receive the refugee or the displaced, internally displaced individual receives the aid and is able to receive it within three minutes because of the fact that they can download the app and receive the aid right then and decide, do I want to push it to my bank account? Do I want to cash out in the local currency? How do I want to handle this? That's all done with US dollar stable coins. And then when you think about, we, we just recently published a, a, a short documentary that talked about how in um, San Francisco, Colombia, there was an organization that had been in big time from this technology. Dundell Dixon spoke at the hearing today. Now, actually, if I go back, I just want to show you guys that this is pretty interesting here. If I go to my likes, it's actually financial service that was created by Trump. Today, they're wishing McHenry farewell, but guess who also spoke at this hearing today? Um, uh, I want to begin with you, Ms. Dixon. Um, uh, Wrong one. This is uh, Ms. Dixon, but then we got uh, McHenry also spoke, but guess what? Oh, uh, they also tweeted Coinbase, found crypto found the ally and Patrick McHenry long before it found a spotlight on Capitol Hill. McHenry, Coinbase right there. Because actually, if you go to the thing is, everybody's wishing McHenry a farewell. This is them financial service. Today, U.S. digital asset ecosystem has been uncertainty. The Bahamas set to face a judge this morning after U.S. prosecutors filed criminal charges in connection with the multi. SBF, that's wild. But you got. Oh, this is really going so. Our nation has been a global leader in innovation, with the financial sector exemplifying this spirit. The strength of our free markets has consistently driven modernization, positioning the United States at the forefront of technological advancement. Generations of entrepreneurs and innovators have leveraged emerging technologies to enhance consumer experiences while creating entirely new industries. As lawmakers, our responsibility is to cultivate an environment that fosters innovation and opportunity, both within the financial system and across the broader marketplace. However, I believe our current leadership has severely deviated from this foundational principle of innovation. In order to thrive, emerging industry. I agree. This wasn't one of the ones I attended to show. I was going to, I was saving this for separate clips, but I kind of wanted to show you. Oh, there it is right there as soon as I clicked away from it. But I did retweet it to find it quicker. Here it is. Now we'll go to the gentleman from Nebraska, uh, Mr. Flood. Nebraska in the building. Mike Flood, Telcoin, baby. And now we'll go to the gentleman from Nebraska, uh, Mr. Flood. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, before I begin with my questions for this hearing, Mike I Flood this lights the room up. Last hearing in Congress. With that in mind, I'd like to take a moment to recognize you. Woo! I don't know how much you'll miss this place. I suspect you're more excited to spend time with your lovely wife, Julia, Cecilia Rose, Reese, and Perry. But I promise that your colleagues will miss you dearly. Your tenure stretches well beyond my time in Congress. I'm still new. I've only known you since July of 2022. But since Mike Flood is just getting there. And he's making a big impact. Since then, your leadership of this committee has been nothing but remarkable. This committee has passed data privacy legislation to keep Americans' data from being exploited, capital formation legislation to create more opportunities for startups and investors alike. I'm not going to get into the whole thing with that, but... It's kind of interesting just at the beginning how he smiled when he introduced Mike Flood. Go to the gentleman from Nebraska. The gentleman from Nebraska who's also responsible for the Nebraska Innovation Act, Mike Flood, Telcoin. And now so, we'll go to the gentleman from Nebraska. And maybe somebody has something to say about that. Of course, Mike Flood is a legend. Oh, yeah, I don't think you can edit this either. Oh, we're going to have to delete this one. 
because we messed his name up there. So guys, I'm getting back to making quick videos. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up, hit that subscribe. If you guys enjoy the quick content, please let me know in the comments below. If you enjoy the quick videos, if you don't have time for the live streams, but we do go live at one also. Let me know what you guys think. Any ways to improve the show, let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys on the live at 1 p.m. EST.